There she is. Mr. Heater, Big Max. Right now she's running and I can tell there's an issue. And I've had this issue before. And you can tell, set on 60, 42 degrees in here. Hey, hold on. Oh, oh. Here we are, snowy Minnesota. As you can see, holy cow, this is crazy. This video I want to do for you guys is I just realized that my garage, I bought a heater years ago. I bought the, uh, there she is, Mr. Heater Big Max. Right now she's running and I can tell there's an issue. And I've had this issue before. And you can tell, set on 60, 42 degrees in here. I've had this issue before because this heater's a piece of shit. Ah! You know why I call it a piece of shit? Because I didn't spend enough. Ah. Sure, everybody wants to go inexpensive. This heater, I believe, when I paid for it, when I bought it, was like 399 bucks. All the other ones were, you know, 100 bucks, 200 bucks, 300 bucks, 400 bucks more. So I thought, man, I'm, I'm lucking out. This is the Mr. Heater Big Max rated for 80,000 BTU, which is rated for about 1,000 square feet. And that's what this garage is. This garage is just over a thousand square feet. So I run this heater all winter long. I keep this garage at 60 degrees because of all these toys and everything you see out here. I just, uh, that's just the way I like to do it. I like to keep everything warm. Plus I have some freezables. As you can see, I got some paint and whatever else. So I gotta get on this. I'm gonna explain to you the issues with this heater, what to do to get this thing alleviated. And I should have this thing up and running in about 10 minutes. So, all right, first off, we're gonna turn this thing off. We're just gonna system down. You can hear her settling down already. So, look at this. We're gonna go up. We need to take this side panel off. There's two screws here and there's two screws here. We're gonna make this pretty quick. Again, I've had this issue before. So it's not gonna be a problem to get her going. Knock on wood, everybody. Knock on wood, everybody. Let's check it out. Check this out. This is like my uncle's uh, craftsman 16.8 high performance Sears 46 pound drill. This thing is like the heaviest drill known to man. Let me just get this camera set up. So you guys can really see here what's going on. You don't really need to see me. You just need to see this heater and what's, uh, what's the dealio here. Hang on. Okay, I'm set. I got my, I got my attachment. This, uh, Hell, I don't even know what size it is, guys. Eight millimeter? Eight millimeter. Eight millimeter. Take out the two fronts. Take out the two backs. A little bit longer screw in the back. Hold the door. Hold the door. Hold the door. Woo! Here we go. Now we're internal, people. Yeah. Okay, here's what's going on. I had the neighbor, I had the neighbor uh, heating and air come over and they wanted me to buy a whole new unit. They didn't, uh, they didn't tell me the quick fix on this and I got pretty pissed and I didn't pay him for a year. Thank you very much. Because I had this all torn apart. All they had to do was go up the ladder, give me a quick little something something about what was going on before I even knew what was going on. So they told me to buy a whole new heater. Um, and I thought that's goddamn crazy. The thing's only like two years old. So, quick history. This heater behind me, I put up, and I got her going the first year, and it had an issue the first year. And then the second year, it had like two or three of the same issues where it just doesn't heat. Uh, I kept the garage at about 45 degrees those first couple of years, and I think that might have been my issue. Now, the last couple of years, I've kicked it up to about 60 out here all winter long, and I think I had to reset this once last year, and this is the first time this year. 
So, you see this little pressure valve, this hose, this rubber hosey mosey here? That's all it is. You track that down to the bottom here. Let me make sure that my camera's... Okay, you track this down, you pull this little rubber hose off. Beep, 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 come on. Pull that rubber hose off and get a little baby screwdriver. Something you can poke in this little hole here. Ooh, and you can kind of feel or break through. You know, whatever gets in there, whatever clogs this little hole down here. Just kind of force her through. Get your airline back on there. Am I, uh, am I showing you guys? Yeah. Okay. Put your air hose back on there. Airline. Cheap. Yep. She's on there. And let's see if that helped. That should do it, folks. That's all it takes. So we're going to fire her back up. So we heard the fan kick on. So let's see if it clicks and heats here. Should be doing a little, oh, oh, that's the sound you want. There she is, folks, check it out. Yes, sir. Now the fan will kick in and get this circulating. That's all it is. Again, this little rubber hose is a pressure switch up there. So something gets gummed up down in this little, this little valve here. Pull that air hose off, clear out that little valve, put it back together, and she should fire right up for you. And then just put her back together. So it's as simple as that. When that heater company was, uh, when they came over and they wanted me to buy new, I thought that was ridiculous. So before I bought brand new, I went, to, I went on YouTube, and this is what started out my YouTube channel, is that I went on YouTube and I found out this quick fix in about 10 minutes. So when they told me that I owed them like $400, get a new heater, it's gonna be another couple hundred to install it, uh, I about lost my brain. So that's why I didn't pay them for a year, is because I fixed this thing myself in 10 minutes after I watched a YouTube video. So that's a good thing about YouTube, because this thing's a piece of shit. <laughs> and it's a piece of shit beyond my part. I didn't spend enough for a good heater, um, but I'm glad that I know the fix now, and I can always fix this. So if you have the MHU-80, this is the MHU-80. This is the quick fix that you want to take if you have this similar issue. I didn't spend enough, but I'm glad I know what the issue is now. I'll fix it a couple times a year. I don't care. As long as I got heat out here, keep all my stuff heated, I'm good to go, baby. Put her back together. You set. Put her back together with a 50 pound drill. With a 50 pound drill. Nice thing about this drill, it's got so much torque, man. Maybe I had them right back in the day with the torque amount. She's kicking. She's kicking, baby. She's kicking. I love it. It is a great heater when she's up and running. But when she's not up and running, you got to do that quick fix. So, all right, hopefully this video helped you out, you guys. Uh, again, if you got that heater, if you got Mr. Heater, Mad Dog, or Big Max, 80,000 BTU, or any BTU for this brand, you may have this similar issue. And hopefully this helps you out. Quick little fix for you. All right? This is Chubbs checking in, giving you a little rundown on a heater. Snow is coming down. Snow is coming down. I'm glad I got the heater going. We're going to check. As you can see, I got shaved. Shit shower shaved. And we're going to go check and see how warm it is. Hear it. Ooh, feels a lot better in here, guys. Okay, she's still kind of get caught up. It's been about 18 minutes. Oh, hey, we're there. We're at 59. I think I just heard her click. She's going to shut off. So it's been about 18 minutes to get this baby heated up to 60 for that thing to turn off. That's great. I mean, that's really fast. That's 20 minutes. I'm glad I caught it within a day because I want to keep my stuff warm. Heater's working good. I didn't want, I don't want to make this sound like that heater is terrible. It's just, I had a bad decision in going with a cheaper heater. But if I had to do it again, I would buy the cheaper heater now that I know what to do to fix the cheaper heater. So 
I didn't want to spend a thousand bucks back in the day and I didn't want to spend a thousand bucks now. Three for $3.99 is good with me and I don't know how to fix it. That's what we're gonna do.